In today's episode, we'll be releasing errands. We will also be testing the new website and inviting you to the HTML5 version. Hello tankers! If you haven't entered the game for an extended period of time, now is the time to return. The highly anticipated Eris Hull has finally been released and is available in all versions of the game, HTML5 and Android. Furthermore, Eris will be the default hull for Android players, while new players will be getting it for free right after the installation of the game. In the HTML5 version, you will need to buy it for crystals as any other hull. We have already told you about all features of Eris, so we're not going to repeat it once again. If you haven't tried to play with the new hull on the test servers, then we highly recommend you to enter the game and check out the novelty. Maybe this new hull will completely change your opinion about the game. Additionally, in honor of releasing the new hull, we're launching a new special event, the Battle for Olympus. For the entire duration of the event, six special missions and one super mission will be available in addition to four special bundles. One of the bundles contains Ares and two augments for it, heat and cold resistance. Moreover, lucky tankers can also get a brand new XT skin for Ares from Ultra Containers. All details about the event are available in the special announcement in the game or via the link in the description. We have made a small update for the showcase for everyone who is looking for some new offers. As you know, our showcase updates itself from time to time. Twice a day, you can see your custom offers. But what if you want to buy a certain offer or a certain kit? Well, of course you can wait. But if you're impatient or just want the offer right now, you'll be able to buy it from now on. You can press the update button in the showcase. And guess what? It will update itself. However, there's a small drawback. If you update the showcase once, you will not be able to update it again for free. You will have to pay some extra tank coins. It's already August, and that means that Flash will be discontinued by Adobe themselves in less than five months. With that, our Flash version of the game will be closed as well. That's why we're encouraging you to move to the HTML5 version of Tanky Online every time. Now we'll be doing it in the game too. Of course, not for everybody, but only for those who are still using Flash. We'll be reminding you not only in the game menu, but also when you're inactive during battles. We understand that not everybody wants to switch to the HTML5 version of the game, but it is a necessary measure. The sooner we change to HTML, the sooner the game will receive new content. Some of you have already noticed the new large button on the main page, asking you to test out our new website. The website has a new modern look, as most other sites, and is improved so it is more convenient for you to find the information you're searching for. The new website is still in the testing stage, so you can help us to make it better by leaving your feedback at the bottom of the page. Welcome back to YouTuber Digest, our weekly selection of the best TO videos created by players. Did you enjoy our summer sales festivities? Because our YouTubers sure had a blast! First, watch as Graphics shares a gold montage in the Rio map from our summer festivities. Secondly, watch another super cool and refreshing gold montage, but this time by Alexary. A friendly reminder that the answers for question of the week should be sent via the special form. The link is in the description. Remember, answers in the comments do not count. Bye! Last time, you had to guess how many tanks would be destroyed by Viking plus railgun in the air using overdrive. And the right answer is C. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the new question. 